During the feast of the Holy Name of Mary, on September 12, 1996, Cardinal Christoph Schumborn, the Archbishop of Vienna, the main author of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, acknowledged this striking reality about Medjugorje, start speech R equals slow end speech while addressing an audience of 10,000 in Vienna. He explained, if I was an opponent of Medjugorje I'd have to close down my seminary since almost all the candidates have received their call to the priesthood through Medjugorje. What a remarkable and powerful claim, the fact that almost all of Vienna's candidates to the priesthood came to the priesthood through the apparitions in Medjugorje. A great fruit of the Marian apparitions of Medjugorje, are the great number of religious and priestly vocations it fosters. In an interview with Vienna Prayer Campaign, Cardinal Christoph Schönborn explained why he came to Medjugorje, as a pilgrim in 2010. I will just repeat what I once said in one interview, if there was something wrong about Medjugorje, we would have to dismiss half of our seminarians, since so many of our priestly vocations are both directly and indirectly related to Medjugorje. Not only did Cardinal Schumborn acknowledge the fruits of faith present in Medjugorje through the immense influence the apparitions have had on priestly vocations but, equally important, he explained how much the sacred example of Medjugorje's visionaries played a role in inspiring his pilgrimage to the village. One of the visionaries was in Vienna last year and I spoke with him, Maria Pavlovic Lunetti was there this year, they were both in the Cathedral of St. Stephen and I gave my permission for those events. Both of those two encounters have impressed me so much, primarily because of the modesty, simplicity, clarity and heart-warmness of those two visionaries. That only strengthened my decision to quietly, and simply come to Medjugorje. Archbishop Georg Eder of Salzburg, Austria, also recognized the undeniable connection between Medjugorje and religious vocations. His words are as powerful as they are urgent for a European culture that, has lost its sense of the spiritual. A sense that has been reawakened through Medjugorje. Archbishop Eder explained. My impressions here are not surprising. I know that groups from Salzburg very often go to Medjugorje, that new prayer groups are constantly started, that there are more and more people who say, in Medjugorje I received my vocation. The Archbishop further added. I am reflecting, we are losing three things that we are getting back in Medjugorje, penance, conversion and vocations. In Austria we look in vain for these things. Conversion is not mentioned anymore because people do not need it, confession is dying out with us except in shrines and in the churches of religious orders where this sacrament is sought and lived, spiritual vocations are less and less. In Medjugorje this is happening constantly, confessions, conversions and spiritual vocations. It is fascinating how in a European culture like Austria's, wherein faith is constantly ignored and on the decline, hope emanates from a distant Bosnian village. Both Cardinal Schumborn and Archbishop Edda have implied that, if it was not for Medjugorje, then Austrian Catholicism, at least in the realm of priestly vocations, may become obsolete. Thus the influence of the apparitions has played a monumental role in reawakening the spiritual life in Austrian Catholicism. Bishop Paolo Harnilica, an esteemed Jesuit who was close friends with Cardinal Karl Waitiwa and, later, a close papal advisor once Waitiwa became Pope John Paul II, also acknowledged the fruits of Medjugorje. He once noted about John Paul II. The Pope, for his part, recognized a long time before that supernatural events are really at work in Medjugorje. But beyond John Paul II's love for Medjugorje, Bishop Harnilica himself could not ignore the overwhelming impact that Medjugorje has had in influencing both vocations to religious life as well as miraculous healings. He once noted, So many are the people who have experienced the presence of Mary at Medjugorje that they cannot be counted, just as the stories of spiritual and even physical healings can no longer be counted. Countless, as well, are the vocations to the priesthood and the consecrated life born of the grace of Medjugorje. These are just some of the main spiritual fruits which have brought many to the conclusion, that the Queen of Peace is truly present in Medjugorje. 
Since many of the seminarians who have been inspired to enter religious life as a result of Medjugorje, both future priests and nuns, are young people, this reality itself, Medjugorje's influence on the youth in converting to, and renewing, the faith, could not be ignored by church leaders. In 1983, only two years after the apparitions began, Cardinal Kuarik, then primate of Croatia, reflected. How can I doubt that Medjugorje is God's doing? Do you know that half a million young people have surrendered to Christ? The Lord is stirring this country. They need 50 to 60 priests every weekend just to hear confessions, and to counsel these young people. And it's all because this apparition. Father Donald Calloway, the popular American priest of the Marians of the Immaculate Conception who is a leading proponent of the Divine Mercy Devotions, and the author and editor of numerous books on Mariology, was another young person who experienced the grace of Medjugorje, in his remarkable conversion story and in his road to the priesthood. Father Calloway, who studied at the Franciscan University in Ohio and at the Dominican House of Studies in Washington, D.C., acknowledged that even in America, where we often are reminded of the shortage of vocations, Medjugorje has played a central role in encouraging young men to pursue the priesthood. In an interview that Father Calloway gave in February 2004, he explained how many young men he met in seminary, who were as inspired by Medjugorje, as he was to pursue the vocation. I loved every minute of Medjugorje. I'm going back in March. It's the edge of heaven, wonderful. Our Lady is building up this army, this whole new generation, layer by layer. Rank by rank they are coming out of seminaries to take their places. There's a whole generation of priests coming, and they're just like me. No nonsense. I always tell people, get ready, because it's coming to a parish near you. We've been formed by the Blessed Virgin Mary and her apparitions. So many of the guys I knew in seminary, they loved things like Medjugorje or Botonio Amsterdam or Kibiho. They don't have a problem with it. They bite onto truth like a shark, and they're going to be the guys in the seminary's teaching. They're going to be in parishes. One cardinal said if it were not for Medjugorje, he would have hardly any seminarians. I compare it to Guadeloupe. Let us continue to pray through the intercession of Our Lady, Queen of Peace for more and more good and holy vocations to the Church.